Welcome to our MSG studios here in New York City. I'm Erica Wachter. Thanks so much for joining us as we get you set for tonight's game between the Devils and the Red Wings. COVID remaining a big issue around the National Hockey League, impacting both of these teams today as the Devils add another player to their COVID-19 protocol list. And Jesper Bratt, a non-COVID related illness, but he is out tonight. We've just learned a short while ago. And as the Utica Comets deal with their own COVID issues, that means the Devils will be playing a man down tonight. So for more on this game, for a preview, let's throw things over to the guys. Here's Steve Cangelosi and Ken Wangs. COVID remaining a big issue around the National Hockey League, impacting both of these teams today as the Devils add another player to their COVID-19 protocol list. And Jesper Bratt, a non-COVID related illness, but he is out tonight. We've just learned a short while ago. And as the Utica Comets deal with their own COVID issues, that means the Devils will be playing a man down tonight. So for more on this game, for a preview, let's throw things over to the guys. Here's Steve Cangelosi and Ken Danico. And of course, the Red Wings across the ice also dealing with COVID uh, issues themselves. They've had several players join that list, including their starting netminder and Alex Ndelkovic. But let's talk about the opportunity before the players here for New Jersey and you got to go right to Jack Hughes. You know, we talked about the last, did get one the other uh, night in that Vegas loss and he's got points now in four of his last five games. Yeah, and what was really important there was when he... And of course, Nico Heischer remaining in COVID protocol. So big minutes for Jack Hughes. Let's talk about the other opportunity. This is coming between the pipes and Sal, you obviously have to go out. Second opportunity to start a game. I know he came in in Philadelphia and played a period there in front of him want to play well for a rookie netminder but yes another start on the road all of his game action so far has been away from the Prudential Center and to your point the Devils in action tomorrow night at the Rock so perhaps we'll see the debut from John Gillies there that would be the expectation and you talk about that hit that uh, Jack Hughes took from Zach Whitecloud the other night obviously the fight came after we saw the battle from this Devils team why is Geertsen up you know, lining up when he played right. that whole game as a defenseman. Well, on paper, he is a forward. Yeah, exactly. Right? So he lined up and, you know, something happened. And <laughs> like I said, the fight was important. Yeah, he wasn't a defenseman going up. He is a Welcome back into our MSG studios as we get you set for Devils Red Wings. And obviously, we had to talk about the rookies coming into this one. Detroit has some guys that are leading the way. And uh, we'll also see another first rounder from 2020, and that being our very own Dawson Mercer. And he's a guy that is looking up roles changed a bit for this team. So perhaps that has something to do with it as well. It absolutely does. And also, Janssen's also had a little bit of a struggle. And uh, roles changed a bit for this team. So perhaps that has something to do with it as well. It absolutely does. And also, Janssen's also had a little bit of a struggle. It's fun to watch. And he will certainly be missed in the lineup tonight. And uh, we've already talked about the rookie for the Devil. Uh, let's talk about what Detroit Red Wings have going on in Detroit. And the Devils came out, got the first nine shots on goal in the period. What did you like about the first 20? We'll put the goals aside for now. What did you like overall? Well, just that start. Mm -hmm. it's something that Coach Ruff was talking about. Yes, they are down bodies, but over the last few days or so, he made sure they got their rest, and he says they're feeling just leaps and bounds better than they were a few days ago. So let's get to the goals now, and it is Detroit who opens up the scoring. Dylan Larkin here, and Sal, just such an interesting play. Obviously, a uh, young netminder, not necessarily reading the boards there, but walk us through how this can happen in this specific arena, per se. Yeah, well, this is a set play. Heronic, they know what they're doing. He, he came down, his head's up, he's already looking. He's seen that Dylan Larkin's going, and it's a set play. And if you stop it, right, oh, you can't see it roll, maybe in the next one, keep rolling. But the reason why this bounces that way is that that's the Zamboni door, mm. right? And if you get another look at it, when you're watching the replays, you can see that there's a little bit of a lip there. Okay. And so Akira Schmid, he's probably thinking as it goes in, it's going to go around. Right. It's going to come straight out in front of the net. That's such an interesting perspective hearing what you say you would do as your routine just to get yourself familiarized with the different boards in different arenas. And obviously Detroit knows it better than <laughs> anyone. So they get that set play to put them up one nothing. But yes, a great response because the Devils really were controlling a lot of that period. They had a strong period overall and they're able to find the equalizer. A big one for Michael McLeod, his second goal of the year. First one that's not an empty netter. And he's now got a three game point streak going. Well, just because of the way the Devils are playing with pace, Siegenthaler's moving up, and you're just, you're getting the puck, 
into the offensive zone, throwing it on the net. So the Devils get a fortunate knuckleball goal here, that being McLeod. But the way I look at this, it's because of how they played the whole period. Mm -hmm. McLeod line, I talked about him, Bastion, yes. right? They're physical, they're competing. They're pushing pace. They're getting the pucks in deep. And so when you're playing that way. And he's got four points in his last six games. And obviously you talked about the start of this one. You're going to want to come out in the second period again with a strong presence. But how do you see this game unfolding and really kind of managing that energy as both teams are a man down in this one? Well, that play into it. And you have to be smart with puck management. So Coach Ruff's going to come on at the end of the game, depending on how this goes, and says, hey, we knew we were down bodies, right. but we didn't manage the puck. Or he's going to say we managed the puck excellent. We got it in deep, right? We we didn't turn it over uh, at the top of the, the face-off circles in the defensive zone or the offensive zone. So puck management and managing your energy systems tonight. That's what we'll be keeping around. 40 minutes to go in regulation. And Sal, second intermission. You